Alright, stick her up. Get in at the negotiation. Hi again. Um, and my last video in the gardens I said I didn't know what I was going to do for my next one and it might be a radio. Well actually I've returned to this Bush um, DAC 90 again. Um, remember last time we found that the main stropper, I'm going to be careful with this because it does contain asbestos, uh, that the main stropper resistor here um, was open circuit and it is actually open circuit on two places so it's going to have to be replaced. Um, I'm going to do that in a rather different way. I'm going to actually remove it completely and I know the purist amongst you will say okay if I do that then um, it's not the same radio. Um, tough. I'm going to do it anyway and I'm going to put in two uh, 50 watt power resistors um, to simulate what was there. It won't be an adjustable mains voltage this time it will just be the, the, the series resistor in the heater chain and it will be the dropper resistor that goes to the um, that goes to the uh, the the V5, which is um, which is the uh, um, valve rectifier. Um, so rather than have a load of resistors in there, I'm just going to have two: an 800 ohm um, and a 200 ohm. Um, 800 ohm in series with a with a heater chain, and the 200 ohm, which will go actually to the anode of, of the um, of the uh, V5 which is the um, rectifier. Okay let's have a look inside the radio and see exactly what we've got. Well this is the underside view of the uh, of the main stropper resistor and you can see the rather <coughs> leaky 0.01 mains bypass capacitor there which is going to be removed and the screw which we can see there um, is the one that's holding the, uh, the, the um, main stropper case in place. So that's going to be removed and uh, let's get round to doing that now. I'll be glad to get rid of this asbestos um, casing. So that's one of the first jobs that I'm going to be doing. Let's get this. It, what I like about these radios, everything is nuts and bolts. It's all done really rather nicely. Um, so I'm just going to take this one off. I know what's going to happen, it's going to get the last thread and drop. There it is. And this being, um, this being an AC-DC set, of course, one side of this capacitor is uh, completely down to chassis. Um, and the other side, right onto the uh, right onto the um, the main. So I'm going to just clip that one off um, because we don't really want that on there. It's going to be replaced anyway. Um, so let's let's get that clipped off. And I can find a suitable tool. In fact, I'll leave it for a moment. What I'll do is just take the the the, the clip off the capacitor which is really, really embedded in it. There it is. So it's a rather mucky clip of the capacitor. Well, here's the offending um, item removed, and you can see just at the top of that resistor, the burn mark with the old connection was made. Um, so that resistor is now completely useless. There's no way I can restore that. So as I say, it's going to be replaced by a... Um, by a, uh, a, a um, high power resistor and there's the um, little bit there you can see which is uh, not very clever that's a bit that's broken off and the other problem we have here of course is that asbestos case um, not a good idea so I'm going to the first thing I'm going to do now is, is to get rid of that um, so I'm now going to remove the old resistor, the defective resistor, from this horrible asbestos container. We keep the, um, the screws 
Yeah, this is all broken as well, so the thing is completely, uh, completely shot. There's the resistor. Now this is horrible. Um, so what I'm going to do, because it's asbestos, that's going to go. So it's going to go into a, a poly bag and it's going to be sealed. And that's the end of that. What we have left is the defective resistor which is not recoverable because the cable the wire is is burnt off in there um, I'm not going to trust these anyway so what we have is that it's an 800 ohm resistor altogether from top to bottom um, the 800 ohm is in series uh, with the, the mains so that uh, that feeds the heater chain so what I'm going to do now is check the heater chain to make sure that's intact once I put the valve back in of course um, and then I'm going to replace all this um, with two uh, very nice um, high power resistors and to do that I'm going to have to make a new bracket for the radio. So on the top here, the, um, with, with the resistor removed I've now got um, a, a, a lot of chassis space here and three wires, one of them which goes to the um, uh, in, it's to the rest of the heater chain, so it's an 800 ohm resistor will be from the mains to there, and the other one is 200 ohms, which goes to another resistor, um, which then goes to the anode of the rectifier valve, um, and th this is just the mains in. So I've got quite a lot of space here um, to put a nice uh, new heatsink with some modern um, uh, power resistors, an 800 ohm and a 200 ohm. To drop the mains power down to get the radio working again. This is the first step. Unfortunately, um, there's going to be a wait. It's the end of November, I think, before this, these parts will arrive. So um, there's going to be a bit of I hate us now uh, until these bits come. So the next stage, I think, is just to get the thing cleaned up a bit. Okay, so this is the circuit diagram, and it shows the um, original ballast resistor here mains coming in here and the various taps for different voltages. This resistor in all is 800 ohms and then that feeds the heater chain right through including the scale lamp. Um, what, I'm, what I've done is remove that resistor um, and I'm going to fit a 50 watt 800 ohm resistor here uh, which is going to be the heater ballast resistor going right through and these sections are 200 ohm, or 100 ohms each so there's one, two, so I'm putting a 200 ohm resistor from here again right into R19 uh, which is 150 ohm resistor which goes to the anode of V5 which is the... Well, there's the plenty of space on the chassis, obviously they won't be mounted like this, they'll be on a, a vertical piece of aluminium heatsink um, but this will be the modification that I'll be making to the radio and hopefully uh, once I've done that at least I'll have power applied to it and we can move on from there. Um, not brilliant for the purist, I agree, but uh, it's going to get the radio working again, which is my main intention. Right, now the, um, the valves have been cleaned up. I've got uh, the valve bases have been cleaned. Um, I've done a, a general clean up, but nothing too, too deep. And uh, the resistor has been removed. Now what I've got here is a meter showing continuity through the complete resistor chain in the pilot light. Um, the resistor, the, the heaters of all these valves are in series with the mains. So the mains comes in, goes through a dropping resistor and then in series with all the heaters of the valves and in series with the pilot light bulb. And uh, so what I've done is that this is, will be the connection to the new resistor when it's fitted. Um, the, the 800 ohm resistor and then on to the mains. This is down to chassis and you see my meter reading continuity through the heater chains. 
just to prove that I'm going to release oh by the way this uh, this pilot light which I thought would be blown is absolutely fine so I'm just going to unscrew it and you can see the meter then um, go to open circuit so it's open circuit um, so the heater chain is broken and I screw it back in and once again we have continuity so I'm really pleased about that that's a very positive step that all the heaters of the valves are working and there is continuity through them um, the rectifier valve is uh, um, has, has a supply oh, that's just turned itself off um, the rectifier valve has a, um, a supply through a 200 ohm resistor um, to its uh, to another resistor onto its anode uh, and that's got to be um, test, test, tested yet yeah. but I'm really pleased with what I've done so far um, just got to wait for these other resistors to arrive so I can fit a new um, heat sink here uh, with, uh, with no asbestos and safe resistors fitted so um, that's the next step um, watch this space Well, thank you for watching this update on the Bush DAC90. Um, I hope it's uh, uh, been of some use to you. Um, but, uh, as I say, there's an awful lot of work to do on it yet. Um, and uh, um, once I get the resistors, then I can then start on the next stage of the restoration. Um, well, it's not a restoration, really, because it's not going to be anything like the original. But um, the, the main part of it will be. Um, but restoring it into a working condition, maybe I should have said that. So, thank you for watching, um, and uh, um, I'd probably be a while before I get back to you on this particular radio, um, but in the meantime, I might do a little bit more on the BBC Model B, because I've just recently purchased a hard drive for it, and um, maybe we'll just do a little bit on that. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care. I'll just pick it up and get in at the negotiation.